Hey, squirrel bait. So we finished chapter seven and I went on a little tree ad, I guess, about plants and genealogy. But we're on to chapter eight now. So let's just dive in. And so chapter eight begins and Azazel who was mentioned in chapter 6 here, I think. Maybe not. And their leader... No, this is a new name. Yeah, this is a new name. And Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the craft of working them, and bracelets and ornaments, and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of costly stones, and all coloring tinctures. And there arose much godlessness, and they committed fornication, and they were led astray, and became corrupt in all their ways. Simjaza, now that was the leader of the messengers, the children of heaven. Yeah, Simjaza, in chapter 6. Simjaza taught enchantments and root cuttings, which as they discussed, I went on that little triad in chapter 7. Armaros, the resolving of enchantments. Interesting. Yeah, and he's listed here as one of the leaders, the chiefs of the ten. Resolving of Enchantments. Barakwijal taught astrology. He's in there. Pokabel, the constellations. Ezekiel, the knowledge of the clouds. Araquil, the signs of earth. Signs of the earth. Shamsiel, is he in there? Shamsiel? I don't see him. This, this is a new name also, Shamsiel, the signs of the sun, and Sariel, the course of the moon. Is Sariel in here? No. So we're getting some new names. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to heaven. So... So we're learning. So they're teaching. Like we've got some new names here. Some some old names from chapter six of the chiefs of the ten, and some of these are not listed as the chiefs of the ten. So I guess they're like lesser, lesser messengers, or like they're underlings. I'm not sure. But like. Swords and knives and shields and breastplates. So he taught them warfare. Made known to them the metals of the earth and the craft of working them. So are they suggesting that previously no metal was used at all? Like, did Adam use wooden shovels to till his garden? I'm not sure. The craft of working them. Bracelets and ornaments, and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids. I'm going to look up antimony real quick. So, the use of antimony. An antimony is the chemical element of atomic number 51, a brittle, silvery-white metalloid. Antimony is a semi-metal. In its metallic form, it is silvery, hard, and brittle. Antimony is used in the electronics industry to make some semiconductor devices, such as infrared detectors and diodes. It is alloyed with lead or other metals to improve their hardness and strength. The levels of... 
Antimony can have beneficial effects when used for medical reasons. It has been used as a medicine to treat people infected with certain types of parasites. Well, that's very interesting if that's what they're talking about. Oh, here we go. What is antimony in the Bible? The adornment referred to is sapphires and other stones set in a metal called antimony. This metal was used in the Persian ancient world as an eyeliner. We know it today as coal eyeliner, K-H-O-L, eyeliner. Cambridge Concordance says the world's pook, P-U-H-K, in the translation refers to this. The word pook in the translation refers to this. Interesting. So they are referring to the metal. This metal was used in the Persian ancient world as an eyeliner. So it was like a silvery... Silvery white metal. So they use silver eyeliner. Ah. And beautify yeah, and beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. So he taught them how to be like trashy. Eyeliner. Stones dyed their hair, it sounds like coloring tinctures. And there arose much godlessness. That sounds about right. So, yeah. Interesting. And they committed fornication, yeah. And they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. And then, so, this is Azel guy. Taught like weapons and warcraft. But then he also he taught like sword making, knife making, shields, breastplates, like armor, like weapons of war. Or tools of war, I should say, not just weapons. Breastplate. I guess you could hit somebody over the head with it. But he, while he was teaching them metal, he taught them also, like, bracelets, ornaments, and the use of antimony, like the eyeliner, the metal. Beautifying the... So, so he created warriors, and he created... whores. Huh. Like, two ends of the spectrum, I guess. Simjaza, the leader, taught enchantments and root cuttings. They talked about that in Chapter 7. Amaros, the resolving of enchantments. I'm not sure what that means. Baraquajal, astrology. Let's well, see, like, Cocabel, the constellations. So we have astrology and we have constellations. That's two separate things they're talking about here. And I'm wondering if astrology is like the signs, like birth signs and stuff. And Cocabel, the constellations. Because you can use both of those, like, you can use the constellations for navigation and stuff. So was he teaching them that? I would think so. Ezekiel, the knowledge of the clouds, like weather. Araquel, the signs of the earth. Shamzel, the signs of the sun. And Sariel, the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to heaven. So did they die because of all this learning? I mean, there's many times in school I felt like I was going to die. but did Or did they die because of this warcraft and all the horrors running around? I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever died looking at the Big Dipper. So Constellations is out. Astrology, I don't know. The knowledge of the clouds, weather patterns, like this is all like pretty beneficial stuff, it seems like to me.
Unless, unless I'm misreading it. But anyway, it's kind of interesting what it says that these children of children of the heavens was teaching these people after they created giants, man-eating, cannibalistic giants that drank blood and sinned against birds and reptiles. So, so they came down, had themselves a big old party, had lots of babies. All the babies turned into giants, and all the giants ate all their food, consumed all the acquisitions of men, ate all their food, and then started eating the men when they ran out of food, and then started molesting the wildlife, apparently, and then began eating each other and drinking their blood. So they had this big old party, made all these crazy kids, and then it was like, you know what this world needs is war, whores, and stargazers. That's... Man. I don't know what to think about all that. Sounds like a heck of a party, though. But anyway, squirrel bait. I guess the next chapter would be chapter 9. It looks like it's a little bit longer. But... We'll, we'll discuss that in the next video. So... I want you to know that I'm proud of you, and that I love you, and I hope that you're having a good day. Keep your chin up, squirrel bait. We'll talk to you later. Bye.